Some changes could soon be coming to students going to a Newport News school in need of repairs or replacement. Well, we've been following the situation at Huntington Middle School for several months, actually. Now the school system is working out a plan to move students elsewhere while the changes take place. And that'll mean going to other schools. 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver has more on the options. Asia. Well, Anita, school board chairman Gary Hunter tells me the rising 7th and 8th graders will go to Heritage High School. Hunter says it's a step in the right direction, but one grandparent I talked to says she's not so sure that's a good move. I don't think the um, chemistry is there. I don't think the uh, maturity, I just don't think it's wise to mix that age group. Terry Dunlap says clearly the children need a new school, but at the same time, she has a lot of concerns with mixing seventh and eighth graders with high schoolers. My concern is putting um, elementary kids with high schoolers, is, I mean middle schoolers with high schoolers, it just, I don't think they're ready for it. I, I don't even think a lot of the ninth graders are mature enough for high school, but that's just the way they have it. School board chairman Gary Hunter says he expects this to be a fear for a lot of parents. But he says, although in the same building, they will be separate. So how are we going to keep the school, the school separate? Uh, Heritage High School is built in wings. And so there was a separate wing that we'll have for our incoming 7th and 8th graders. So they'll be completely separate, uh, separate gym uh, times, separate cafeteria times. And we are sure that the 7th graders won't be in a wing with uh, 12th graders. As for the 6th graders, Hunter says they will be split in half by zones. One half will go to Hines and the other to Crittenden. School officials have already worked out a map to show which students will go where, but says it's a flexible plan. If some changes have to be made to a student here or a student there, I'm certain we'll accommodate those changes. As for the building, once the students are gone, Dunlap says she'd like to see a new school with the same name. I don't think they should fix it. I think they should tear it down and build it anew. There will be a, a parent informational meeting on Monday, then a public hearing on March 20th. After that, the proposal will go to the board for approval. In the newsroom, Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.